Hey everyone, this is Ron and uh, today is a very exciting day for me because I'm going to finally take the delivery of my Model Y after almost a year. Um, I made another video last year um, explaining my previous order that I placed last April, uh, but then uh, I had to cancel it for some reason, so I explained why. I put the down, link down below. Uh, but I'm glad that I did that because I was able to take advantages of uh, the new low price and also the EV tax credit this year. Uh, I placed my order uh, mid-January of this year, uh, but my delivery date got pushed back several times. And uh, finally, I'm going to pick up the car um, today, um, April 8th. So I'm going to take you with me, walk you through the process, and I hope that is useful for you as well. Thank you, see you soon. finally started to drive back home. The delivery was very seamless. It only took about 20 minutes, including inspecting the car and all the paperwork. When driving your Tesla for the first time, you don't see the full visualization of other cars or pedestrians on screen. Instead, it says, calibrating in progress. It takes a few miles drive to calibrate the system before you can see all those details. During this time, autopilot is also disabled. While driving back, I am going to share a few tips based on my experience that could help to speed up your delivery process. First, as soon as you place your order, go into the Tesla app and complete as many steps as you can, 
like your driver's license and insurance information. If you are planning to trade in another car, start it as early as you can, because it might take a couple of weeks to receive the trade-in value from Tesla. If you are planning to finance your car, you have two options. You can either use Tesla financing, which is quick and convenient, but their rates are usually a little high. At time of this video, Tesla rates were around 5.5% or higher, depending on your credit score. The other option is to finance your car with a third-party bank, especially credit unions, which offer lower interest auto loans. These rates could be as low as 3.5 or 4%. I will put the link to a couple of those that worked with in the description below. If you are considering financing your Tesla with another bank, you should keep in mind that the loan approval process usually takes longer, so you need to apply as soon as you place your Tesla order. The loan approvals are usually valid between 30 to 60 days, but you can also extend it in case your delivery time frame is longer. Credit unions usually offer better rates, but they usually have a two-step process. First, you need to apply for membership, which might take somewhere between a few days to a week, then apply for the auto loan, and that also takes another week or so. Tesla won't give you the final price until the car is delivered to its final destination, the Tesla center in your area. So, make sure when applying for the loan, include the sales tax, registration fees, and any other possible expenses which vary from state to state, and on top of that add a few extra grants to cover uncalculated expenses too. It's always better to get approved for a higher amount and be on the safer side. As soon as you get your loan approval, add the bank information to the Tesla app. Once you get the text from Tesla asking to schedule the delivery date, contact Tesla Delivery Center by replying to the same text number and let them know that you are financing with a third-party bank. Also let them know if you are planning to put some cash down and ask them to send you the final purchase agreement as early as they can because your bank would need that document in order to finalize the loan. Another tip, when you are scheduling your delivery date, give yourself a few extra days because it might take time for the bank to finalize your loan and send you or Tesla the check. You can always text back to Tesla and ask to reschedule the delivery to an earlier or later date if you need to. Well that was it for now. Thank you for watching. If you find this video and tips helpful, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. Also please consider to subscribe. That would help me to share my future videos with a broader audience. I am planning to make a series of videos about Tesla tips and hidden features, so stay tuned.